Okay, so uh, I think I'm going nuts. I think I'm going absolutely nuts. And uh, this is why. So I have this here Super B that I built at the exact same time as uh, this one. Yeah. Okay, so I built these two right here. I built them in parallel, all right, to make sure that the heat wouldn't uh, accumulate on one board more than the other. So I went uh, one, one, one ESC, then the uh, I sold one motor, then the other, then the opposite motor on the first board, opposite motor on the other board, and so on and so forth, right? To make sure that both boards are built exactly the same. You can check the soldering. I wouldn't say it's too crusty. You get beautiful, nice, shiny balls. I haven't cleaned the flux yet. But yeah. Uh, anyway, I assemble both boards. Then I plug them onto my uh, current limiting power supply, 4.35 volt, limited to uh, 3 amps. Tested the first board ESC with the ESC configurator. Worked absolutely fine. All motor spinning, uh, even heat distribution across all feds. Perfect. Then I move on to the next one. Tested it exactly the same way. No motor is spinning. I check it with the heat cam. And that was the result. All four ESCs had a shorted FET of sorts. They're basically a faulty FET on each, uh, every single ESC. Okay. On, on the bottom right, you can actually see even the trace leading to that uh, ESC. Probably the, the gate uh, getting hot or maybe it's just the heat sp uh, spreading to the copper on the trays. Can I see it on this one as well? But uh, yeah, I thought that was fucked. I thought, well, pff, what if I if I plug a lipo in it, they're just all gonna blow, right? And uh, so uh, there's something weird that happened before uh, when I had one, uh, only one FET uh, faulty. I was just, uh, yeah, I was thinking, oh, you know, fucked for fucked. I'm just gonna try uh, giving it some heat, right? And so I went into the ESC configurator and uh, yeah, I'm just turning it off because I, I can hear the, the beacon. Yeah, they're trying to, to beacon. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to give them some heat and see if, uh, you know, if uh, whatever, just experimenting. Yeah, most of the uh, breakthrough in human, uh, in, in humanity has been, uh, most of the biggest discoveries have been uh, made by mistake, right? And uh, I gave it, I gave up previously, yes, see some heat. And of course, it would like uh, tick, 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 like fail to start. The ESC will get hard. But since it's plugged on a limited uh, current power supply, it wouldn't blow. It will just get hot. So I will keep uh, keep getting some heat. See what happens. Duh, duh, duh. And all of a sudden, it started. One of the ESC that was destined destined to to blow up. If I put a, a lipo in, all of a sudden it was fixed. And I tested it, I kept it running with load, without load, I stress test the fuck out of it. And it was good. It just, it unfucked itself. And I had no clue how this could happen. And so uh, I was just about to, yeah, basically unsolo the motors on this one because I was thinking, yeah, four feds, like I'm not gonna replace all of them, yeah. 
just gonna send it back to happy model but now I, I just thought well you know I already have everything plugged in uh, why not you know let's uh, try to give it some uh, some heat the same way so I did just that on one motor at a time I did it for a bunch uh, just you know slide the cursor in the motor test uh, configurator and it did nothing so I thought you know, I'm just gonna increase the motor startup uh, protection and uh, startup uh, power and what do you know after a couple after a few more tries one of the motors started spinning so I'm like okay so that must be like some luck thing yeah there's no way that I can reproduce it so I start doing the same with the second motor second motor fix itself as well you can even see here uh, I had marked with a uh, sharpie I mean yeah with a uh, paint marker which ones were bad and so this is the same board that I showed earlier let's turn it on and uh, yeah let's see if we can unfuck <laughs> the other ones uh, the same way so here is how, how I'm testing it I'm literally just going into the ESC configurator and uh, yeah jerking the slider so let's start with motor 1 you see it we have all three fades here same temp they all he eating up all of three eating up even, uh, evenly that's interesting every now and then you can hear this one look at that Ah, oh, that might be the beacon. Okay, let me unplug the board from USB, power cycle. It always hits up on startup because of the D-shot beacon. All right, now that doesn't do it anymore. Good. So, uh, doing it again. All right, motor one fix, motor two. Top right. Again, even heat distribution between all three feds. Now let's move on to the three and four that uh, have not been fixed yet. Well, see, give it some heat. One of the ESC heats up, and here I can see the motor jerking. So I'm just gonna keep uh, jerking it back and forth. feels like I'm trying to start up an old fucking diesel I have to keep jerking it because it uh, automatically put itself in protection if I keep the throttle on something's happening it's oh there you go I kid you not It's spinning. Now you've witnessed it with me live. And again, all three I see fine. All three fets. Working fine. Now let's uh, move on to the last motor. Just moving the motor so that it uh, doesn't rub on anything. Motor 4. Feel something is happening. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm just going to keep jerking it the same way.
that way that I can show you both. <laughs> the motor and it's fed. That would be wicked. You can kind of see the motor on the top. Yeah, the beep was the current limiting, the current uh, overcurrent protection. Ah, and there you go, we have another spinning motor. Full throttle, no problem at all. So that means that now if I turn all of the motors, all of them are spinning. Look at that. I was about to freaking replace that board. All four of the ESCs were uh, faulty. I can't explain it. Is it, uh, is it the heat that's reflowing the package? Uh, that's the only explanation I see. Is it even maybe silicon inside the, the FET? Uh, that is getting fixed by the heat? I, I, I have no clue. I have no idea. But uh, <laughs> it, it, it looks like uh, I, I got a solution we could even call repeatable to fix faulty fets. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't explain it. So, if you have any idea, if uh, if you're an E, which I'm not, by the way, uh, yeah, by all means, <laughs> please uh, hit me up and uh, help me explain this mess so yeah that's uh, uh may maybe i can get rid of my freaking hot air uh reflow station <laughs> yeah so uh that's it maybe uh see if you can get yourself uh current limiting power supply and uh, fix your faulty fets somehow all right cheers <laughs>